My name is Bharat. I am from IIT Roorkee, currently pursuing BTEC in engineering. Today, I will be demonstrating the working of the digital to analog converter and its interfacing with the 8085 microprocessor circuit. So first, I'll explain what what is the use of this digital to analog converter. So as we know, all of our devices, uh, like computers, etc., they uh, work on digital signals. But uh, normally, we get analog signals. So if we provide this analog signal to the uh, uh, computer, it will not it will not work. For that, we need an analog to digital converter. But for the transportation of these uh, this, uh, analog uh, digital signals, we need to. Uh, we need to convert, convert them into analog signals because uh, normal transport, transportation of signals takes, takes place through channels and in channels we cannot uh, transport these uh, digital signals. So hence we need to convert these digital signals to analog signals in order to send them from one place to another. So now I'll explain the basic working of this digital to analog signal, signal converter. So uh, over here you can see that so, uh, this is a digital to analog converter. Basic uh, digital to analog converter. It is a 4 bit uh, digital to analog converter. Uh, in my in 8085, uh, we have 8 bit uh, digital to analog converter, but the principle behind the working it remains the same. So, uh, hey, um, over here, we take four binary inputs in the form of digital signal, and uh, this gives a V out that uh, it, it that it gives in uh, analog form. So, the basic formula uh, behind this. Uh, working is that the analog signal um, given out is VR times the binary value that is uh, taken input from here uh, divided by 2 uh, raised to power n where n is the uh, number of bits uh, that which is in this case is 4. So, so suppose if you take an example if you take VR equals to 1 volt and n equals to 4 that is a 4, 4 bit analog to, uh, digital to analog converter so we get uh, V out equals to 1 by 16 volt if we uh, 1 by 16 volts and if we take uh, the input uh, uh, digital signal 11111 uh, so this becomes band the binary, binary, binary value becomes 15 and the output uh, 15 uh, becomes 15 by 16 uh, voltage so basically uh, digital to analog converter uh, uh, are of two types the binary weighted digital to analog converter and the r2r digital to analog converter so generally the R2R uh, digital, uh, convert, digital to analog converter is used in all of the kits but uh, here I'll explain both of the uh, types. So in binary weighted uh, digital to analog converter we have this circuit over here. This is a normal uh, uh, resistor circuit with an uh, op amp uh, summing amplifier over here. So basically uh, we have this uh, input uh, digital input over here. So this, these are the switches S1, S2, S3, S4 and uh, these resistors are in uh, order of uh, R, 2R, 4R and 8R. They, are, they have to be chosen in such a way that uh, they remain, uh, they follow this pattern or similar patterns. So uh, we uh, close, this, close one of the switch and uh, we can make different patterns of these switches in order to get different uh, digital signals. So suppose if we uh, uh, close the switch one and uh, make all the other uh, switches uh, off. So we get uh, the digital input one zero zero zero. So in this case, the S one is on and S one and S two, S two, S three, and S four are are on in off con off conditions. So the basic uh, output in in the form of analog is uh, given by I times the resistance R X, which can be any value. So I uh, the current I is given by V. Uh, since over here, you can see that the all are, all the other switches are off. So the current I in the circuit is given by V R divided by the resistance R, and uh, the digital output is given by I equals to V uh, V R. All all the other V R uh, all the other terms are zero. So the output uh, resistance is given by R X into I. So the um, drawback of this uh, binary weighted uh, technique is that in this case the we need to the uh, we need a precision of one one uh, divided by the uh, two raised to power the uh, number of bits the digital to analog converter is in this case it is one uh, four it is a four bit uh, digital to analog converter so hence uh, we need we need a precision of one divided by two raised to power, power uh, two raised to power four that is one is uh, one divided by sixteen 
which is almost uh, not possible. Uh, I mean, uh, it is almost very difficult to uh, attain such precision. Hence, this method is generally not used. And uh, in most of the distal to analog converter, we use the R to R network based uh, uh, distal to analog converter technique. So, in uh, this, uh, this uh, is similar to uh, the previous uh, method, but in uh, this case, we use uh, only uh, two resistance that is R and 2R. So, uh, if we uh, if we try to simplify the circuit into a smaller circuit, we get uh, finally we get uh, we are able to find out the uh, VR at different nodes that is 1, 2, 3, 4. At, at, at node 1, the voltage is VR by uh, VR by 2. At node 2, the voltage is VR by 4. At node 3, the voltage is VR by uh, 8, and at node 4, the voltage is VR by 16. So, the this is the circuit behind, that is used in the distal to analog converter. So, where you can see that uh, this is similar to the previous uh, weighted distal to analog converter. Uh, which the, diff the difference is uh, in this circuit, uh, this, uh, the summing amplifier means the same. So, the, the same case if we uh, we can have different uh, combinations of these switches in order to get different uh, digital signals so suppose we take a 111 uh, suppose all the switches are closed so in such a case all all are delivering current so in such a case i will be equals to vr by 4 plus vr by 8 plus vr by 16 plus v, uh, vr by 18 and uh, the v output will be equals to rx times this current and suppose if we take all the switches are uh, in off conditions, then in that case I will be zero. Then uh, the V output will be zero, which is pretty obvious. So the general, uh, so the general uh, circuit diagram for this uh, R2R method is something like this. The uh, inside this uh, kit we have all uh, this, uh, all of this circuit inside this, and. Uh, all of the things remain the same, so uh, we can add, we can have different combinations of digital signals, which will give output uh, different analog uh, signals. So now uh, I'll uh, quickly demonstrate the analog uh, waveform that I'll uh, generate using the digital signal in a, with the help of uh, the digital to analog a kit in the 8085 microprocessor. So for uh, this, I'll have uh, Written this set of mnemonics into the 805 microprocessor. So I'll quickly, quickly explain the these mnemonics. So the first two lines are for initializing port A B C to the output port. The the next two lines are to uh, initialize the HL pointer and uh, to set eight different values uh, in the memory equations. So the, the next line the few lines are for uh, Loading the, the loading the first weight from the memory location and outputting it in, into a port. Uh, these lines are for generating a delay. Uh, then, then these all lines are for uh, decommenting the uh, counter so that the next uh, value can be iterated upon. And in the end, we uh, load the lowest weight and hence this completes the mnemonics. Part. So now I'll show you the actual code working on the 805 microprocessor. So I, I will be executing the mnemonic I previously entered using the G2000 command. So as you can see, the program is executing, and uh, we can see that the uh, analog output that is the sawtooth waveform is generated on the oscilloscope. So this was the all about the working of and uh, the distal to analog converter. So now I'll uh, quickly tell some of the commercial applications of this uh, distal to analog. So it is uh, this distal to analog converter is used is on uh, as an audio amplifier. Uh, it is used in data distribution systems. Uh, it is used in video encoders, etc. Uh, that's all. Thank you.